Hi, Facebook world. We're a little bit early on our live broadcast, but it's day one, so I thought we don't want to be late. So we'll wait just a few minutes for people to jump on. We're wrapping up our first of our summer classes. Um, they just finished the Day the Crayons Quit as a story time art class, and I've got some fun sidewalk chalk that we're going to make. It's a, a paint recipe, which is great for those threes and fours. So let me introduce myself. My name is Allison Jensen, and I am the owner of Orange Easel School of Art. All summer long, we're going to be going live here on our Facebook page with ideas that you can do at home with your kiddos um, to kind of get inspired, to get creative, because our studio teaches the really, really wide age group of kids, anywhere from toddlers on up to our high school seniors, our videos are going to encompass that age range as well. So my plan anyway, and I've got all of them planned out from here until the end of summer, my plan anyway is to do Mondays for really geared towards that preschool age, those threes and fours and fives. My Tuesdays will be geared towards those infants and toddlers. My Wednesdays and Thursdays, the Wednesdays are going to be early elementary, Thursdays later elementary, middle school, high school, and then Fridays are a wild card day. Mondays and Tuesdays I'm going to be talking mostly to the, my parents and then Wednesdays and Thursdays I'm going to try to go right to those artists so that if you've got that age group of kiddos they can tune in and actually follow along with the video and do whatever we're making. We'll try to use materials that you have at home so that we're not having to go out and buy a bunch of stuff either. We have a ton of stuff at our art disposal but we're going to use stuff that maybe you also have at home. So I'm out here on my patio today and it is gorgeous. Um, hopefully everyone is getting out there and enjoying the summer. So this is a sidewalk paint. It is fun for all the ages. So even though I'm saying this is geared towards that three and four year old crowd, if you've got toddlers, they're going to like this. If you've got older kids, they're going to enjoy this as well. But, um, but I think this is, this is really um, a neat experience for those threes and four year olds. Um, you know, coming outside and coloring with sidewalk chalk, is uh, which is a great thing to go do but a lot of times our younger kiddos that is a really frustrating thing to do uh, they don't have the fine motor skills quite yet to be able to grab onto that um, it takes a lot of force to be able to to actually make a mark on the driveway it takes a lot of effort to actually cover anything and and feel like you've accomplished it um, maybe that's not them maybe that's me so the sidewalk paint is an easy way to get a good amount of coverage on your concrete surface or um, either it's your driveway or it's your sidewalk and and you can do that with a little bit less effort than the sidewalk chalk. So you're only going to need about three ingredients here. Um, the first thing you're going to need is cornstarch and this is just a, a box of cornstarch. I, I got to find a place where I can buy this stuff in bulk, man. Like. I need a lot of this for the summer. So, and I'll show you our bulk container of way of doing this, but I'm gonna, um, I'll show you how to do an individual family size recipe as well. So you're gonna need some cornstarch. You're gonna need some water. You're gonna need something to mix in. So I've already got my, my water portioned out. I'm using a clear glass jar only because I want you to be able to see it. Um, if you were gonna have kiddos do this, I probably wouldn't recommend a glass jar. We're out on you know, a concrete patio and, and things could happen. So, But I'm using this because I wanna make sure that you can see it. You could do this in a plastic cup. You could do this in a tin cup. You could do this pretty much in a bowl with a whisk if you wanted to. Um, anything to mix in is just fine. I'm stirring with a paint stick because you know that's what was next to the sink. So you're gonna need something to color it with. Unless you just want white chalk, you're gonna want something to color it with because this is gonna be white. Um, we love, and if you've watched some of our videos before, you've seen this, this is like, this is rock star stuff right here. This is our liquid water colors. Um, it is made by Colorations. It is washable, which is why we love it. And it's sold only, as far as I can tell, at Discount School Supply. So if you go to discountschoolsupply.com, we make no money off of saying that. I just figure if we find a great product, we want to tell you about it as well. So this is really good stuff. It goes a long way. It's highly concentrated, and we use it in lots of different things. Um, a lot of times, uh, you can use this in anything art-related that you would also use food coloring in. So whether you're making Play-Doh, um, whether you're doing you know, color volcanoes, or you're doing something like this, where you're making sidewalk chalk, you can use the liquid water colors. And like I said, the nice thing about it is unlike food coloring, it's washable. It's actually cheaper than food coloring too for those itty bitty bottles. I actually, I bought some of those for tomorrow's project. 
um, and it's like four dollars <laughs> for a box of food coloring. I had no idea. So, um, so these are fantastic, and they last a long time. So I've got some liquid watercolors here: water, cornstarch, and then um, paintbrushes. And when we get to the um, the painting part of this, I'm going to tip my camera down, and we'll talk a little bit about which paintbrushes maybe would work best for something something like this. So. I don't have a, an exact recipe for you. Sorry, I don't even use recipes when I cook. Thanks, Mom. So, I... You can I, uh, also mix flour. You can also mix flour, Miss Sam says. Flour with water makes it too, huh? No, flour with cornstarch to make it last longer. Flour with cornstarch, Miss Sam says, and it lasts longer. She's cleaning the patio right now. I'm making videos. They're all working. Everybody's got a job. All right, so we're going to take the cornstarch, we're going to put it in the water. Now, too much cornstarch, and you end up with it being solid. Too little cornstarch, and it's just too runny. So you're trying to find that perfect balance. It's going to take a little bit. Um, you may have to go back and forth where you add some cornstarch in, and then all of a sudden it gets way too hard to stir. Just add a little water. It'll be okay. Um, so we dump in some cornstarch here, and then we're going to give it a stir. This is where a bowl and a whisk might work really well for you. Um, if you've got kids that want to help with this step, you sure they could sure help with it. Um, you're looking for, it's going to be thinner than you think. It's not going to be a really thick, um, really thick paint. If you try to get it really thick, all it's going to do is settle down into the bottom and end up being um, like a solid layer at the bottom and still thin at the top. So you want to get it all consistent like a slurry, like you're making gravy. And you stir it in and it looks like that. Looks like milk, you can drink it. Wouldn't recommend it. And then you add your coloring to it. More coloring, the more vibrant the color, less coloring, um, the more pastel -y your color ends up being. This one, this one's gonna be a fuchsia, a fuchsia pink color here. So we make this in bulk for summertime. We make the white base in bulk and then we just add in uh, the coloring as we use it. So this is our bulk container. It's the, the, the bottle is painted gray, in case you're wondering. It's actually white inside. But um, it's a bulk container of cornstarch and water, and it's in here. And then all we'll do is mix in the colors as we need different colors. So you could do it that way, too, if you wanted it to be just a little bit faster. Okay, you can paint right out of this cup if you want to, or my favorite way to use it is actually lost. Just a second. I got it. Is actually in a muffin tin for our little ones. These are from the dollar store and they are amazing. The nice thing about it is it's very tray-like, so it stays down on the ground. They're not tempted to pick it up and walk away with it like they maybe would with a cup, which then it just gets spilled. So your, your tray like this stays on the ground and they go to the tray to get their brush filled and then walk away with it. Um, the other thing, it's, it's less likely to spill um, and it's very shareable. So I don't know, let me see if I can tip my camera down. I want to show you Watch, I'm gonna do this and the camera's gonna like fall. Okay. <laughs> um, right now, this I made when I first got here this morning and the, the cornstarch has settled down to the bottom. Watch when I stir it, how it, it becomes milky, right? Because all I'm doing is reintegrating all that cornstarch. So periodically you're gonna have to stir this because it separates. The water and the cornstarch kind of separate the solid um, cornstarch mixture kind of falls down to the bottom and the colored water mixture kind of rises up to the top. So periodically you're going to want to stir it and then see how thin this is? You want to brush like you're mopping barbecue. Okay, Kansas City people, are you with me? You want to like a mop brush because this isn't, this isn't super thick. Um, they're gonna have to dip into this tray a lot. So it's like dip, dab, dip, dab, dip, dab. It's not, um, it's not something that, you, that holds a lot of paint. It's not real thick. So when we get it onto the, onto the concrete, it's a dabbing motion. The swiping motion might just frustrate them. Um, so different paint application options. Like I said, a brush that has um, a lot of bristles on it and has a decent amount of like, you know, oomph, where it's gonna actually hold some stuff. That's what you want. I love um, watercolor brushes for this because watercolor brushes are made to hold um, like a lot of stuff. But the problem with watercolor brushes is 
you rub these on the concrete too many times and you're not going to use them for watercolor anymore. So unless you're using old watercolor brushes and you're only going to use them for this, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, we have old ones, so we could, but um, otherwise these kind of um, plasticky synthetic bristles that are made for this preschool age are really great. So are this, this one here that I had before. Um, is is a little bit um, less synthetic. It's still synthetic, but I mean these are obviously plastic. These ones are made to look more natural. So we've got two different options here, and again, these are pretty good size brushes. They're not little tiny pointy brushes. You can use even like a house paint brush, right? So if you've got some like big old brushes, you could you could use house paint brushes, and that would really pick up a whole bunch of of these colors to go onto our concrete. When it dries on the concrete, it's going to look like chalk, and that's the coolest part. So let me slide this around so you can kind of see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do it right down here on the concrete. I'm going to move all my stuff. I don't know if you can see some of it over here. Or like there's my butterfly. I painted that earlier. Um, so it's a mopping action. It's always going to leave drips. But it's great for coverage. You can swipe it. We, with our young kids, sometimes we'll put these in spray bottles. That's fun. Like a, like a squirt bottle. It's not a spray bottle. A squirt bottle. And that's really great. So we can make a star. Let's make a star. Or a snowflake. That would be appropriate, right? So you can see... I run out of paint very quickly and have to dip back in to my well. Cool? And it mixes just like, let's stir up this green, it mixes just like paint. So if I take in some of my, my green and decide to drizzle it into my blue, it will blend and mix and swirl just like paint colors someplace else. All right. Now, this is Facebook Live, so if you have questions, now is your time to ask. Um, if you're catching the replay, I will go back and check the comments, so feel free to ask any questions, and I'll do my best to get back to you today. Um, again, this is really great for those preschoolers because that sidewalk chalk sounds like a great idea at the time, but, but it, it's not going to, for most kids, it's not going to hold their attention as much as something like a paint medium um, here. Uh, it's going to be messy. You're going you're gonna to get it on feet. So bare feet, bare feet are a good idea because otherwise you're going to end up washing shoes. Um, it's going to get on the driveway, but it's going to wash off because it's just cornstarch and water. So, um, but it's great for colors and applications. Get out the squeeze bottles if you want, if you've got ones that want to squirt and squeeze and drizzle. Um, very Jackson Pollock-like. My big kids may want to look at using both. They may want to make an outline with their, um, you know, with their chalk or in a detailed drawing and then be able to go with their paints and fill in because you can do some really fun blending techniques. They're gonna want a tray or a cup that they can pick up though because I don't know if you saw, every time I dipped and I brought it over to the spot that I wanted to paint it in, it dripped all the way along the way. If that's gonna bother your older elementary kiddo, give them a cup that they can move along with them so they're right on top of it when they go to dab and fill in different areas. So. I hope that that is a fun thing for you to, to try out with your kids today. If you do, I would love to see pictures of it. So Instagram, you can tag us. Um, it's at Orange Easel Art. Or um, Facebook, you can tag us. We're on Twitter. Um, we would love to see the creations that your kids make on your driveways and what you guys paint. Um, tomorrow, we're going to come at you live talking to our toddlers and our um, let's see, toddlers and infants. And it's going to be... See if I can give you a rundown of everything for the week. How's that? It's going to be condensed, sweet and condensed milk paint. So it's going to be an edible paint that you can do with the toddlers. And then um, we're going to do, uh, let's see, Wednesday we're going to do slime because, you know, slime's hot right now. And I feel like we need to get that one out of the way so we can do some other stuff. So we're going to do a slime video on Wednesday. Thursday we're going to do tangle drawings. So if you have a kid who loves Zen tangles or that pen and ink drawing, um, tune in for that. We've got um, a tutorial for them as well as some downloadable things that they can um, they can work on this summer. They can get from the, our Pinterest board and then, then work on them. And then Friday's our wild card, and I think we're painting rocks. I think. I think that's one of my, what's on my list is we're going to paint some ladybug rocks. So 
All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful, this is our first day of summer, so it feels like a celebration. So hope you have a wonderful first day of summer, and we hope to see you in the studio soon.